So in this video, we want a constant variable that cannot have its value changed at all, right? How can we achieve this? Well, let's start simple. Let's start uh, actually defining a variable that we can change. We can say let x equals, I don't know, five. And then we can say a simple console log, right? We can say console log x. I'm gonna copy and paste this. I'm going to modify x to be, for example, seven. And if I run this, well, simple enough. We got five and then we got seven. So it did change. Cool. Now we want to change this so that we cannot actually uh, modify the variable X. To do this, well, it's fairly simple, right? We just change this to const. Right, you probably know about it already. So if we change this to const and we say, and we try to run this, you'll notice that we get a type error that says assignment to constant variable. So we cannot actually change the va the variable itself. All right, so that's really nice. So far, so good. We got a uh, variable that has the type number that cannot ever be changed. Can we do the same for strings? Well, if I change this to a string, so say test, and then I'm going to change this to testing, testing. Well, same thing happens. We get the same error here. Okay, so really nice. Basically, we can have every single type in that variable and have it never change, right? Let's try with an object. Okay, so if we try here. All right, so here I have a constant variable that is assigned the value of an object, right? It has a name and an age, simple enough. If I try to run this, well, what do you know? I get the same error. First, I'm printing the object here, but I'm, I'm going to get the same error at this line because I'm trying to assign to a constant variable. So that doesn't work. So that's really nice. We got a constant variable. What, what happens if I, instead of doing this, remember, we are here I'm creating another object and actually uh, putting it on top of the existing one. What I really want is just to change it. Just change, for example, what if I want to change the age? Right, so if I say here x dot age equals, I don't know, 29. Well, if I try to run this, whoa, we actually didn't get an error and the uh, age changed. But didn't the const here said that the variable shouldn't change? Hmm, that's peculiar, right? Well, actually not. Why can we actually change the age? and not change the whole object, that's because that's how the const keyword works, right? It uh, guarantees that the X here is always going to have the same object in it. It's going to always be uh, the same reference, right? But it doesn't guarantee anything about its value, right? Its value is not really linked to the variable. The variable itself is just a reference to that value, but the value itself is an object and that can be modified as much as you'd like. So, all right then, how can we actually create a constant variable that has its value also constant, right? So we can never change either the value or the variable, right? Well, to do this, we're going to have to take a look at the object class. I'm going to say object and here there's a really interesting function called freeze, right? If I use this one and this guy just takes in another object, I can just take in the object here that I'm uh, instantiating, right? And now, now if I really try to modify the age, you'll notice something interesting. You'll notice that the age didn't actually change. Even though I did say x dot age equals 29, nothing changed, nothing at all. Well, right then, this is nice. We got a way to actually instantiate a uh, constant variable with constant values. But isn't this kind of strange that it doesn't give me any errors? I can actually do this and it's not gonna say anything. It's gonna be like, meh. Right. Uh, so how can I actually fix it? If you read the docs carefully, you're going to find out that the uh, object that's been freezed, if you try to modify it, 
it's going to throw an error but only if you're using strict mode so if i try here to use strict so use strict inside my uh, javascript file and if i now try to run this and actually modify our uh freezed objects age right i'm going to get an error and that's not because of the const keyword the const keyword is going to always throw an error if you try to um, override the value inside our variable no no, no we're actually changing the object itself like a value inside the object and since this has been freezed now being in use strict mode we're actually gonna get a type error that says cannot assign to read only property age right so inside the object this property age became a read only property so you can never change it same thing goes if you try to change if you try to add another uh property let's say i don't know uh, location and that says uh test if i try to run this you'll notice the same thing cannot add property location object is not extensible all right so this is different error we cannot really add uh properties also we cannot even delete properties so you can say x.name and if i try to run this you'll notice cannot delete property name because it's also read only and we simply cannot modify this object whatever we do to it all right and the fact that we actually have saved it inside a constant variable we cannot even overwrite the actual value this means that we have created a variable that is constant and has its value also constant the really cool thing about this object.freeze is that it also works with arrays you can do the same thing by just saying let's say one and two right if i try to um let's say x of zero equals 15 if i try to change it same thing i get an error because it says that the read only property this time zero because that's what we're using here is uh well it's read only and we are trying to assign to it and the same thing happens if we try to actually modify the array by pushing a number into it right if we try to do this we're gonna get the error cannot add property two basically you cannot add a um an element with the index two to our array but not because we have called the push function here it's because the push function is trying to add that to the array and it doesn't allow it right one more thing to note here is that this object.freeze actually just freezes the uh the highest level object basically just this enclosure and its properties if i try to create another object inside this if i say obj has the value another object that has let's say the property a that is one simple enough if i uh if i try to change this obj so if i say obj equals another object for example b that has the value five right if i try to run this i'm gonna get an error because obj is a property of our freezed object and is only it's read only but if i try to actually change the uh, property a here if i say a equals five and run this you'll notice that this still works so we're gonna have to also object.freeze the uh the inner objects themselves otherwise this is not gonna work so this is how you can create a constant variable that also has its values unchangeable all right thank you guys so much for watching i hope you got something out of this video if you have any questions leave them down below in the comments and see you guys next time take care